OPA Alice mic circuit by Jules Reicherbusch is arguably the cleanest, quietest, most dynamic, rangiest mic circuit out there, and it happens to be one of the easiest mic circuits to DIY a mic with. And it's back, in this mic, with a C12-style capsule. Check this out. From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. So after I featured the Serena mic on the channel, a bunch of you asked, well, what does that sound like with a, like a C12-style capsule? Well, I have the answer for you right here. It sounds pretty great, right? So what you're seeing here is basically a DIY build using an OPA Alice circuit, uh, a donor body from By Faley. It's their V47. I actually have another one here so you can get a better look at it. It's kind of like that Telefunken-style body, right? It's not bad. It's really actually a really well-made body. I like it a lot. And so uh, when you buy this mic, it's a V47, right, from By Faley. I think these things, you buy these things for just a little bit more than like 100 bucks, maybe. Um, and it comes with a really nice kit with a, like a really good shock mount. And um, so you strip out everything from it and the capsule in it. <laughs> with the funny thing, it's a V47, but it comes with like a 67 style capsule. But don't throw that out because it's actually a pretty decent 67 style capsule that you can throw into a different DIY project. But if you want to throw a C12 in there, and what's in here is no special C12. This is this is something that I believe came off of like AliExpress or, or something like that. You know, this is like a cheapy capsule that I had in my capsule drawer. And, uh, you know, I found it and I'm like, oh, I should put it in this mic. So paired with the OPA Alice mic circuit, which really does, uh, which has a very flat frequency response. So when you pair it with a capsule that is designed to fit on a, a flat frequency circuit, you really get a you get the sound of the capsule. And the one thing I found with these uh, AliExpress um, Chinese made uh, C12 style capsules is that they actually aren't really they aren't really the same as like a, a vintage C12, what you would expect, which is a lot more low end and kind of kind of like that smile you know, EQ curve, where it's like a bigger low end and, and uh, you know, and then it really kind of area high end. You really kind of get more of a flatter response off of this. So I think it sounds really good, especially when you're considering that this capsule, I don't think I spent more than $30 for this capsule. Um, and the OPA Alice mic circuit, you know, again, not that expensive. And when you buy it from JLI Electronics, it's already populated. It's already built. So you don't have to you don't have to go through the process of building the mic circuit board. And with this mic, because it is a condenser mic capsule and not an electret, you need the additional DC to DC converter board. So you get the the OPA Alice, the base OPA Alice circuit, um, the DC to DC converter board. You get one of these bodies from, uh, you know, from AliExpress. And um, you get this capsule from, you know, wherever. And again, this is a generic one. I don't even know where it came from. And it sounds this, this good. So uh, you gut the body. You just pull all the electronics out. And, you know, you can keep them because the circuit that comes in the V47, it's not going to win any awards. It's kind of a Sheps. Uh, it's a, it's a Sheps-inspired um, transformerless circuit, but it's not nearly. <laughs> it doesn't sound nearly as good as the OPA Alice does. It's not as quiet. It doesn't have it doesn't have really that depth that the OPA Alice does. So, you know, and then you just you swap the capsules, you put in the new circuit board, and there you go. And for not a whole lot of money, I think you get a mic that would that would definitely beat the pants off of a lot of really cheap mics. I think you I think that this mic, the way it's the way it's configured now, would go toe to toe with pretty much uh, anything decent in like the four or five hundred dollar range. And it definitely didn't cost me that much to do this. And it was fun doing it. And again, it's one of those things where if you're into DIY or you want to get into DIY um, and you want to build your first DIY mic, look at the OPA Alice circuit as basically the foundation of your project. Because unless you, unless you really want to get into the nitty gritty of populating the board and building the circuit like that, if you want to just start out and, and be able to build something that's really cool very easily, I think this is a really fun way to go. And obviously, the results speak for themselves. So, OPA Alice, donor body, generic C12 style capsule, not bad. All right, but what do you think? All right, I will leave a link to JLI, uh, the OPA Alice on G JLI, 
And I'll try to find a link to this uh, body on, on AliExpress from Bai Fei Li. Um, but uh, let me know what you're thinking. All right. Till next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.